Okay, first what I'm gonna do is show you how to make the easy DIY CDC mask, the single layer of a cotton t-shirt with the ties cut as part of the mask. And in order to do this, you might need either a wide t-shirt or a men's t-shirt. Men's t-shirts often, not always, but often have no side seams. With no side seams, you've actually got more room for your ties. I'll also show you a hack to use if you've got only narrow t-shirts or women's t-shirts. So first step is we're just gonna turn this into a giant piece of knit fabric, which is really easy to do. Um, you're gonna find approximately what would have been a side seam and you're gonna just cut on down the side of it. So, and I'm gonna shake like a mad woman because of the uh, stupid familial shaky thing, but you'll ignore that. So I am just cutting down and this does not have to be pretty. Um, and in fact, mine is not gonna be pretty, but cutting down this side, virtual side seam to create a single large piece of fabric. When I get to the armpit, honestly, easiest thing to do right here is just to cut the whole sleeve off. And again, you don't need to worry about being pretty, just you know, roughly where the seam is, just tack it off. And yeah, yeah, look, 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 look. there we go. All right, so we've got that opened up. Now we're gonna open up the shoulder seams, same thing. Just, you know, go roughly down the seam. We're not gonna use any of this anyway, so no big deal. And then just to make things simple and easy, I go ahead and open it all the way up. So down the other um, shoulder seam. Oh, look, I missed entirely. Doesn't matter. And then again, hacking off the other arm. All right, so we put those aside. If you've got a really tiny head, you could maybe just put that over your face or that would work for children if you have them actually. So these sleeves, if you have small humans, those would work as a bandana style mask all by themselves. So you know, maybe save them if you have kids. So now what I've got is basically a big flat piece of t-shirt. And that's what I want. Now, not losing my scissors. What we're gonna do is we're gonna cut a mask with the ties out. And you gotta figure your head diameter is something like 20-ish mm, plus or minus inches, but if you don't, you know, if you don't know for sure, no big deal. You can take a random piece of string, wrap it around your head. That's my head. See how long it is. And figure that cotton t-shirts are gonna be super stretchy. So if you leave this long, like just the amount to go around your head for the ties, you'll be fine once they stretch out. So. That, by the way, happens to be about the width of this t-shirt, which was a two extra large. So for me, this would probably be just around the right size to make a mask from. Now, if I had a side seam that was over here, I would have to use this hack I'm gonna tell you about in a minute. So next step, find the middle of that distance that you just measured and <laughs> so not being precise. Um, and you're just gonna fold your t-shirt in. Okay, so now I am going to mark my mask dimensions. And I've already cut a straight line here at the bottom, so we're gonna ignore that and mark from that. So I'm gonna make the mask, uh, let's see. I'm gonna go with five and a half inches tall, should be 
ample. And so I'm gonna draw a straight line from there all the way over to my side seam. And straight is a matter of, you know what, I'm gonna do it the right way. That's five inches, so I'm gonna mark five inches over here. And double check that. Sorry, five and a half. That's why that looked wrong. <laughs> five and a half inches over here. Then I'm gonna connect the two lines. And then I am going to make the mask shape. And I'm gonna go with a eight inch wide mask. So I'm gonna make a mark at four inches. And I know my straps are gonna be an inch tall and I'll tell you why in just a moment. And this ruler is kind of clever because it actually lets you see an inch. So if I just line that up right there, that's gonna give me an inch. And then if I do the same thing over here, that's gonna give me an inch. And then if I connect this, that'll give me there, so. This is four inches from here to here. This is one inch from here to here. And this whole thing ends up being mm, 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 mm. call it 13 inches but you could probably do with a bit less and I'll show you why in a second all right 13 inches so now I'm just going to cut this out and I'm actually better Rehanding with my rotary because I'm so shaky. So there. And I'm going to cut sideways here to detach everything. And the nice thing about using these, you know, sort of disassembled t shirts is you can cut several of these masks out of the same t shirt. You just run them sideways up the t shirt. Um, all right. So those are cut. Then I'm gonna go back. Usually rotary doesn't get quite to the edge because I'm not very good at rotary either, but. And then come up here and with my scissors, disconnect that. All right, so the reason why you can get away with these strips being a little bit short um, is because t-shirts stretch a lot and knit doesn't ravel. So even though this is, uh, and I wouldn't go smaller than an inch, but when this is an inch wide, if you hold it right here with the mask and give it a good solid tug, you can compare the lengths of the unstretched and stretched and see how much more actual length you get with the tie once you stretch it. And I could probably even stretch it a little bit further than that. So that should be enough to go around your head, even if your head's, you know, awfully big. So I'm gonna go ahead and stretch the other ties, just giving them a, you know, good solid yank. And the more, again, if they stay an inch wide, you probably aren't gonna rip them. And I think I even got more length out of that one than I did the first one, because I gave it a little yank, right? So do that again. And do this one. And it also curls up real nicely when you do that. So you end up with something that actually looks more like a tie. musical instrument also. All right, so there you go. Um, and finally, the last thing to notice is that knits have a natural curl once they've been cut. So if I tug this slightly, it starts to curl up. 
And when you're wearing it, that's A, a good way to keep the inside from the outside. And B, that little curl will help it fit to your face. So I'll go ahead and put this little booger on. And I will probably catch my hair in the process, which is unpleasant, but unavoidable. And da da da. -da. All right, there you have it. That is a. <coughs> That is two angry Pomeranians and a CDC uh, t-shirt style single layer face mask.